what I think I'm going to do with this, I've used the Fleur de Lis mold with air dry clay and I've used this larger heart right here. And then I used this Fleur de Lis, but I only used this bottom section. So that's where I've gotten my pieces from. And so here's the heart. I did these probably about two hours ago so that they would set up so I would get resistance. Here's the Fleur de Lis section. So I cut it right where that strip would go. And then this is from the Trimmings 2 mold. I'm going to put this on here. So that's what I knew I wanted to do. And I love this Decoupage Queen rice paper. This is the blue Harlequin. I'm going to um, decoupage this entire thing. And if I want to go over part of the diamond patterns down here, I can do that. Or maybe I'll like it as is. So that's the decision I've made. I need... So I've got the heart that needs to go on there, the little fleur de lis. I'm still able to bend it. I'm gonna wanna make sure I get that in the center-ish. And then I've got I can tell that I don't care for this as a continuation of the top. That just doesn't, um, that doesn't do it for me. So whatever gets covered, gets covered. So that's really cool. Now I'm going to use, keep in mind that that's where that molding's gonna go. Now I'm gonna use Sandy Blonde. Sandy Blonde is the exact same color that's in that background. I will shift my um, stencil. Let's see if I can set that there. So that the blue is covered. So I want the blue covered. Let's see if I can do it this way. I'm gonna have to go up a little bit more. And that enables me to hit the areas I haven't already painted to make them a little bit more solid. So this So now I'm going to pull this up and we're going to glue the trim on. All right, so I'm going to use Sandy Blonde as well. Thank you. 
Okay, now I want to seal everything. Okay, I need all of this to dry. Next is going to be to add the gold to the heart, black over this, and then aging, and I'm gonna be done. Everything's sealed, so if I go on to my other surfaces, it's not gonna be a big deal. Sealer's not dry, I can tell you that. So when I wipe back, you'll see the tips of this trim piece. The gold over the black is stunning. And then when you use the black chiffon glaze, it's really incredible. Okay, I have to wipe this back now. All right, so now dark and decrepit. It's gonna go everywhere. I want some of this black to get around the heart. I'm gonna wipe that. I'd like it to dry a little. Glaze is a little bit tougher to judge. Just making it a nice shadow around that heart. And get some black along these edges. See if I want. A little bit darker around there. Layers and layers and layers of who makes black chiffon? Rita, um, my favorite um, finishings are from Paint Couture. So here is, mine's really dirty, but here's black chiffon. What do you guys think? I really, really, really like this one. 